Sure. Carol traffic, helicopter on Tango Bravo, midfield, right down wind, runway 14, Carol. <coughs> Only the first few are more exciting than a normal one once you get used to them. <laughs> yeah, like, now these aren't bad, really. Actually, to be very honest with you, once you get a little few of them under your belt, it's probably easier to do a pull down than it is a power recovery. Oh, really? Well, you know, at the end of a power recovery, you got the big yaw in there and all that, you know. Really, a pull down, especially if you do these. So we're we're setting it down with a fair amount of forward speed so we're not flaring the right. Jesus out of it, getting it almost to stop, and then trying to get the nose back down and set it down. Those are technically a lot more difficult. There's no reason to do them if you got a nice area to slide on. If you're going through a muddy field like this, and you want to you know, flare the heck out of it again, try to get as speed down as much as possible, but then you got to get your skids down level, too. You know. uh, three, two, one. Oh, come on down. Roll on. Back up. There you go. Right, looking good. Down a little with the nose. Just want to preserve that speed. I'll start a wimpy flare. I'll put it, hold it right there. Now, down with the nose up on the collective. Let it come down. All right, a little bit of left pedal. Just gone. Yeah, try not to lose your... It'll eventually stop flight. <laughs> All right. All right, I think I learned a little bit on that one. <laughs> <laughs> it was raining a little more. Make it easier to slide, man. Huh? <laughs> learned a little bit of one not to do on that one. So, you know, the other thing that's kind of, <clears throat> kind of funny is the amount of up on, you know, pull on the collective is a super wimpy little pull. If you pull too much, you end up up here and kind of hanging out, and your RPM's are great, and it kind of wants to fall out, you know, at the end. Right. So it's kind of surprising how little of a pull there is on the collective, you know. Much more pull than a forward, you know, on a uh, power recovery, because you're trying to actually, you know, stop the aircraft from descending. To pull down, you're, all you're doing is slow on the descent and then, you know, running it on, so. Much fuel we got. Yeah, we still got some left. That's good. Let's <laughs> go traffic. Got to go 201 Tango Bravo midfield right now in 1-4 Cairo. I was over here and saw a guy lose an engine on a Rockwell Commander on takeoff. Over here. Little Vietnamese guy. He was taking off. Lost the engine. He got it back around to the runway and landed the opposite direction, you know. Very, oh, yeah. wow, really? This thing hand grenaded, man. It looked like a it looked like a bomb went off inside the nacelle on the engine. Oh, it wow. blew the whole sec bottom of the section of the nacelle out. And um, he actually got it back around and landed it. He was pretty excited when he got out of the aircraft, man. Right on, man. <laughs> aircraft sat over here forever. They pulled the engine and everything off of it. It sat over for, oh man, a couple months. While they All right, three, it. two, one. Come down. Roll off with the collective, or um, up with the collective. Look fine, you're fine on your RPMs there, speed look good. I'll start a little flare. Flare a little more. Now, up for the collective, super slow-mo, down with the nose, down with the nose, down with the nose, up on the collective. Oop, oop. 
Oh, that's interesting. We'll just let it recover. How's that? Uh, how about that? You had the aircraft. I had the aircraft. Hey. By the way, I go again. <laughs> that was a short full down followed by a low RPM departure. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, that was, uh... Would have been really good if we would have kept the power rolled down. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ah, oh, you're good. Traffic, coming up two on Tango Bravo, midfield, right now, man, runway one four, Kiro. You say if you pull too much, it's, you know, it's just going to kind of hang out, yeah. you know. Like that. <laughs> yeah, actually, that one's been left base one four. And helicopter two on Tango Bravo's on a short left base. <laughs> the final for run one four Caro. I don't see another aircraft around here. I thought I, heard, I, thought I heard said one four though. Uh, three, two, one. Roll off up well, there you go. Got that extra speed, don't hurt a thing, looking good. Looking out the window now. A little high, let it come down, flare again. Up on the collector super slow, we'll let the nose come down. That's a little hard on, on the set down, but too bad. Needed just a little more pull on that one. There yeah, was there a little bit of an um. Yeah, there it comes. Feel sorry for your helicopter. <laughs> I tell you, did hurt it. And hey, Carol, traffic. I look up two on one. Take a problem departing runway one four. Be manning right hand side. Just a little extra right there at the very end, and it is her sitting down. And again, it's a really wimpy little pull. It's not much. I guess that aircraft was someplace else. Well, I would have sworn I heard one four, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. There is no other one fours in this whole area. That's right. right. Yeah. Nope. This is the only runway one four around. Scout traffic, got to two on Tango Bravo, midfield, right now, wind runway one four, Cairo. Used to have guys call in, they call in, oh yeah, we're on final for two zero. Then they'd never show up. You always wonder what airport they landed at, you know. <laughs> There's all kind of two two zeros around there. Sykeston, Cairo, Cape, uh, you know, a bunch of them. <laughs> no. Back in the pre-GPS days, <laughs> they were looking at a map and right. kind of Mr. Magoo and along. <laughs> and where they ended up at. <laughs> Had a guy land here one time, he thought he was uh, just outside of Meridian, Mississippi. I'm like, no, no, you're a little... <laughs> Oh, wow. He kind of missed it by about two states. <laughs> All right. We'll go uh, three, two, one. Oh, my God. Oh, God. I'll get that nose down a little bit, preserve that speed. RPMs look fine. Looks good looking at the window. 
Our little flare, flare into it. A little low on the tail that time. Stay on here with me. I'll let it come down, up on the collective. A little bit of right pedal. There we go. He's got a little low on the tail. I didn't want to touch the tail. Yeah. All right. Try it again. I'll get it. And if you did touch the tail, it's, it, you know, not a big deal. We'll scratch the stinger, but that's kind of what it's for, more or less. But, you know, try not to touch the tail if you don't have to. <laughs> Traffic, you look up to one, take a Bravo midfield right now, land runway one four, Cairo. I just gotta get that flare altitude correct because I'm either going too high or too low. And well, we were just a little bit about a foot too low on that one. I think once I get, you know, it's kind of like, you know, you don't have to be super low, you know, at the flare, so. Because again, all when you're doing when you're raising the collective is just slowing the descent, not you know. So you're keep you know you floating and you start your flare, and then you lower your nose. You're up on the collective, super slow mo. Just about the time you're ready to touch down, up a little extra just to cushion it. So it doesn't have to be you know real low to the ground at all. Great to. Any bit of right pedal. There you go. Over there. Oh man, it's getting low to the sound here with me. We'll roll it down a level. You're on. Getting a little, just a little low on that one too. That's okay. We'll try it again here in a minute. Are you there, Chris? All right, I have the aircraft. Traffic, gotta go two one, take a bravo midfield right now, win. Or runway one four here.
No, right? <laughs> All right, three, two, one. Take a bit more right pedal. Looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good, no wait on it, now start your flare, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, up on the collector, down with the nose, don't pull too much, better come down, a little bit of, there you go, a little bit of right stick to you. kept saying he's on final, it sounded like he's about six inches, his mic about six inches away from his mouth. Uh, Can't understand all I heard was final that time. Evidently he's not here, I guess. <laughs> Traffic going up two on Tanker Bravo midfield right now. Wind runway one four Carol. Collector, super slow boy, let it run up. Let the nose come down, or let it come down. A little bit of right pedal, a little bit of right stick. All right. Right again. It's falling down on the job, keeping the power roll down. What's that? Then I was falling down on the job, keeping the power roll down there. I'm sorry. <laughs> They got one white rectangle kind of skewed there. Or center line. <laughs> one of them kind of out of place. Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Try it again. Clear right. Carol Traffic, I got two on Tanker Bravo midfield right now, wind runway one four, Carol.
Air clear, right? Right, right. Uh, I probably don't need it. Power in here. up a teeny bit. There you go, right there, that's plenty. Looking out the window. I flared a little early on that one. We're going to flare the hell out of here just to show you one. Now let it come down up on the collective. There you go. We're not going to slide nearly as far on that one because we flared the heck out of it. So we're getting a little slow at the end, that's why I just flared it a lot more. Oh. Alright, try it again. Let's see, kind of fuel for a couple more and then we're going to have to get on a little fuel. Sovereign, had a citation of some sort? I have no idea. I think there's one called a Sovereign Jet or something. Not sure. Alright. There's a Cessna 150 landing zone down there. Grass off the end of the front runway. As a kid, you weren't a real 150 pilot unless you could get it in there and stop it before you get to the runway, you know. <laughs> you had enough wind, you could actually get it out of there, too. But you had to have a good, about a 20 knot wind, you know, jumping into, so. Carol traffic, one Tango Bravo, midfield, uh, runway 14, Carol. landing and take off on that, that little grassy area then in the runway is a good good way to prove to people that you can land an aircraft in a lot shorter distance than you can get it out of, you know, you can get it into some place you can't get it out of. <laughs> bit more right pedal. There you go. Don't flare yet. Now flare. Up on the collective a little bit. Now let the nose come down. There you go. Alright, yeah, get about one more and then we'll go get us some fuel.
traffic, Q1 Tango Bravo, mid midfield, right now, wind runway 14, Kero. up a teeny bit. I'll flare a little more, flare some more. Now down with the nose, up with the collector, super slow ball. Alright, not bad. Let's go and get some fuel. If your engine quits when your hover tax in, I covered that with it, right? Keep the aircraft level, set it down to level skids, and it's like a hovering auto with, with level skids. Alright, so stay on there with me. There, like this. Oh, there went the engine. Touch down level skids. I get by a little more so we stop bringing it to the building. Uh. <laughs> All right, you oh, I, can, I, can reach, I can reach it from here. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh. All right, so we got Governor all Friction. Friction. And timer's on 12. I'm going to go ahead and work on getting some fuel. You want you want to just keep it running? That's what you it up. Yeah, we'll do that. I'll put on about 15 gallons. Just leave it idling here, and I'll be right back.